Hello everybody, this is Sparks, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 2 of Lectures in Lab Coats, uh, the small side series I'm running. And uh, I'm in the snapshot once again. Uh, I'm in the snapshot. It's the 1.5 snapshot uh, 13 week 01B, and I'd like to show you uh, a little design I was working on after I saw Cupamster's video. I wasn't going to do anything today, and then I saw his video, and I thought it was so awesome. Um, that I'd have to have a go myself. Now his idea was to have a monorail with no power other than on the on the uh, train itself. Uh, my my train does have a power source. There's another one by himself, um, but there are still power supplies on the side. So it's kind of a slight difference to his. Um, however, unlike his, you can actually use this to push yourself around since there's enough head clearance. <laughs> um, as you saw, it can handle multiple uh, trams at once and uh, actually handles two different speeds. Um, so for instance, we have, I'll do the fast one first, stop the other one crashing into it. If you have um, a block and then a redstone, it moves faster than if you just have the redstone. You can see their speed differences are probably about a third third the speed again on top so uh, yeah variable speed uh, I think the reason that this happens uh, it wasn't on purpose I, I would be lying if I, if I said that I designed it to have multiple speed but basically each of these repeaters fires I think it's four times when when a redstone block passes it so if there's a solid block here like this when this one fires it actually powers the piston opposite it uh, as well as the redstone power supply being here uh, whereas if it's a glass block, the signal obviously doesn't carry through, so you can actually get two different speeds, uh, all the while still carrying a cart. There you go. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a pretty simple design. Um, as far as I'm aware, it, it works in every direction. I think they've probably fixed most of the directional glitches now. It's worthy to note that there's an obsidian block here. Basically. Um, the pistons, the, the top layer pistons, the ones that pop up and push the tram forward, try to push before they're fully up. So if I took this block away uh, back here, it would start pushing them forward this way and everything would break horribly. I have a tile just over here, a tiled version. You can see it's uh, four blocks wide and I'll be including a schematic for this in the download as well as a world download for this place. Uh, so this does not have an obsidian block on the end. In the schematic I can put a um, redstone block here though and it will push it a short distance. So it does work as a tile and can then be extended indefinitely really. Uh, yeah, so I don't think there's many practical applications for this. It just looks kind of cool in my opinion. Uh, I might, you know, I might use it somewhere in a in a world of mine just for the novelty of it. It's slower than walking speed, but it's kind of cool all the same. So yeah, um, this is this. I'm Sparks. I'd love to hear what people have to say about the design, um, or whether anyone can think of a way of making it faster. Uh, it was glitching out a little bit for me. It's to do with the repeated timings. You can actually change the speed of everything. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, those of you who are subscribed to us and may be wondering what's happened to our Let's Play series, we, um, we're we still doing it, definitely. This crazy Man is very busy at the moment with with work, uh, and unfortunately we, have a, we actually have our 16 subscriber special um, ready to go. We just haven't had time to edit it yet, but we haven't forgotten about you, and of course, thank you all for subscribing. Um, it means a lot. I know it's only 16 people, but you 16 people rock, let me tell you. Okay, uh, so anyway, um, this was this. I'm Sparks, I've already said this, so um, before I continue to ramble on, I'm just going to say goodbye.